Welcome to Enterprise Creation and in this first session we'll provide an introduction to this module. So in terms of learning outcomes, by the end of this session you should be able to firstly demonstrate how the principles of creativity, innovation or entrepreneurship convert into new processes, products or services. You should also be able to demonstrate your awareness of the requirements to understand the needs, wants and behaviours of the various types of potential customers in the marketplace. And you should also be able to explain the key activities involved in the process of starting up a business. In addition, you'll be able to combine the concepts and techniques presented here with your own skills to come up with potential solutions to different situations. And lastly, you'll be able to critically reflect on the personal development needs, skills and attributes of entrepreneurial people. The schedule for this module has been designed to provide you with a structured process for generating ideas and developing these ideas into a full business plan. This process is as close to real life as we can make it and if you decide to set up your own business in the future then you'll be well prepared for that experience. Each session of this module builds on the one before and covers the key elements of the business venturing process such as business modelling, business planning, business finance and sales and marketing. Now let's look at the teaching format. Enterprise creation is a very practical module and it's delivered in one of two distinct formats. With the first format, the module is delivered using a blended learning approach, which involves two teaching points, namely the digital lecture followed by a face-to-face -face tutorial, and most of you will be using this approach. The digital lectures are full of useful theory and content and will provide essential underpinning knowledge, and you must engage with the material prior to the tutorial or you'll be unprepared for it. These tutorial sessions will include activity tasks, group discussions and they'll provide an opportunity to work in completing the business plan in your individual reflective journal. And remember that the schedule may occasionally be subject to change so it's important that you check your timetable for dates, times and classrooms. The second delivery format is a fully online approach and this is mainly for part-time students who are taking this module through distance learning and in this case these students will also be accessing the digital lectures however the tutorials will not be face-to-face -face, and instead you'll access the digital tutorials for each session on Moodle and then you'll engage with a discussion thread which you can also find in each individual Moodle session. In the discussion thread you'll be expected to post some of your insights from the, the module around what you've learned and how you feel about it and this content will clearly be very relevant to your individual reflective journal. The assessment for enterprise creation is three elements. The first assignment component is a group assessment which takes the form of a business plan and this is worth 60% of your total mark and should be a minimum of 5,000 words excluding appendices. There's no upper word limit. The plan will be submitted through Turnitin and the deadlines for submission can be found in Moodle. Here you'll be formed into small groups of four to six students and together you'll come up with a business idea. And over the coming weeks you'll research and develop this idea and turn it into a full business plan which will support and justify the viability and sustainability of your business concept. And here please note that in the interest of consistency, do not use any other business plan or financial spreadsheet templates other than the ones provided in Moodle for this module. The second assessment component is a group oral pitch of your business plan and this is worth 20% of your total mark. In session 11, you deliver a group pitch of your detailed business plan to a panel of industry experts who will determine the viability of your idea. The pitch of your business plan will take place as a group and all members of the group are expected to participate in the pitch itself. 15 minutes have been allocated for each presentation with a further 5 minutes for questions from the panel of industry experts. Unless otherwise stated, these presentations will take place during normal class time during your, in your normal classroom. For both group assignments, you must be able to demonstrate that you've made a credible contribution to the work. Failure to do so will mean that you'll not be allowed to share in the group marks. And the final component of the assessment is an individual reflective journal which is worth 20% of your total mark. Here you'll be required to keep a reflective journal of your experience week by week during the course of this module, identifying and reflecting upon what happened each week how you felt about this and what you learned from it. The journal will be a record of your development of knowledge and understanding gained and applied in the module and you'll be expected to refer to theory in your insights and analysis. Again, this will be uploaded via Turnitin and for all assessment components, you're advised to pay close attention to the marking criteria which can be found within the module documents on Moodle. And please note that if for any reason your tutor is unable to access your journal or business plan, then it can't be marked. And remember, you can access a range of resources which we provided to help you through the module, such as workshop materials, uh, recommended reading, online resources, 
and also expert mentoring which will be provided by your individual tutor. Now, as we can see from the following statistics, the impact of small business is significant. And as graduates, it's very likely that at some point all of you will work within a small business. And this module is designed to provide insight into the startup process. But remember, we're not here to encourage or discourage you from starting your own business. Enterprise creation is designed to provide you with an opportunity to develop your own enterprising awareness and skills. And we're using the business venturing process as a vehicle for doing this. As this model highlights, there are a number of key stages of the process through which the entrepreneur must travel in order to launch and develop a new venture. And here we can see the importance of factors such as motivation, resources, attitude to risk, uh, resilience in the face of barriers, opportunity spotting, networking, creativity and innovation, and the need to create value for the customer. And we'll explore these issues further as we progress through this module.